That bug off her chest by just cantering forward. Circle one more time. Using your outside rein a little bit. It's a you there. Try to go down the six like this. And don't try to move her up to that first jump. Stay the same. Look at the second jump. And don't change your canter. Don't change your canter. Good. That's what I want you to do, Sophie. You stay tall and look where you're going. Let her find the jump. Stay tall. Good. Use your time here and shorten that rein a little. Bend your elbows. Half tall. this jump, start the course from the beginning. Half halt, sit. Good. Bend your elbows, sink in your heel, your stirrups are a little full. Circle and slow down. That's it. Have to be a strong underneath you from behind canter. Here. Don't let her go faster. Use your outside rein in the turn. Oh. She didn't finish the course. Circle through the middle. I wanted you to start the course from the beginning. With this canter the whole time. Don't change. Land from the oxer in this canter. Hold your outside rein. The jumps are small. You don't have to move your upper body. You don't have to throw your hands to her ears. Oh. Circle if you have to. Good. Outside rein. There, now hold and stay the same. Hold on both reins. Hold. Go to the red and white so that you can do the four again. You have to ride out of it as strong as you're riding into it. Instead of looking down, do a circle down there, please. Instead of looking down at your lead after the jump, Look into the corner, sink into your outside heel, and the change will be smoother and her body will be straighter, slower. Slower, almost after the trot. And it's easy, huh? Now to the five like that. Use your raise, bend your elbows. That's it, now stay. be a little straighter to that oxen. Good. Back to it. Easy. Outside rain. Keep going. <laughs> Just do the red and white to the blue again. 